Hey guys, thanks for tuning back in to Mad Dog Fishing. Now, if you're new to the channel, guys, we're all about outdoor stuff, whether it's mountain biking, kayaking. Uh, you can see a couple of my kayaks in the background right there. I have two right here. Uh, we do a lot of fishing. We do freshwater, saltwater, inshore, offshore, surf fishing. But our main focus right now is surf fishing, and today we're going to talk about using a mountain bike to get around uh, the beach for surf fishing and how to strap equipment to it safely without doing a bunch of modifications to your bike. Now the bike I'm using today is a hybrid type bike. It's uh, it's basically a street and trail type bike. Uh, it's a lightweight bike and I use it a lot. Absolutely love my bike. But first we're gonna roll this intro and then we'll get started. That intro wasn't too long. Uh, but today's equipment, I didn't mention it earlier. I've done this intro so many times, I forget what I've said and what I haven't said. But we're going to break down this 10 foot surf rod and this 7 foot inshore rod, and we're going to mount it to that mountain bike right there and uh, just using a simple bungee cord. Now, you will need a backpack for this. Uh, because we do take the reels off the rods, we put them into the backpack along with a small tackle box, and we'll go over some of that equipment right now. Okay, guys, real quick, let's go over what I keep in my backpack. Now, uh, I keep a minimum amount of stuff in here. Of course, a pair of pliers for fishing. I keep sunblock. Uh, if you're out in the surf during the day, you're gonna need some, some kind of sunblock. Of course, I keep my harness for my GoPro. I keep a towel, so I have a place to sit on the beach. And I keep a wind sock for my GoPro. I carry a speaker with me so I can listen to music or whatever. It's not a must have, it's just what I carry. And I also carry a snorkel mask with me. Uh, now that's just some of the things I prefer to carry. But also in this box, you've also going to have to put a small tackle box and your fishing reels. And we're going to go over that right now. This reel here, it doesn't break down like these. Most reels, the handles will fold up on them. You just loosen one side and then you can just fold the reels up on them. And they just tuck nicely down. This one does not do that. Uh, so I may, not end, I may end up not using this reel for this adventure. This is a brand new reel by Shimano that I picked up. So, probably end up swapping this out for a pin battle. We'll just have to wait and see. Now the rods, guys, I've already broke them down. This is a seven foot surf rod. You see how small it breaks down to. And this is a 10 foot surf rod. Uh, what I do is I've got some Velcro straps and I just kind of velcro them together now you don't have to do this you can use string or you can even get by with a rubber band which I did for years but it now I have velcro and I just strap them together and uh, and then what we'll do is then we're going to mount them on the side of the bike just like so it doesn't interfere with the steering or anything so let's get all that wrapped up and go fishing Okay guys, as you can see, I have my rod strapped together. This uh, ended up changing out the 10 foot surf combo, uh, the Shimano to a pin battle surf combo. The only difference is this rod's nine foot instead of 10 foot, but it doesn't matter. Either way would work. I just like keeping certain rods with certain reels. And so since the Shimano didn't break down the reel, I went with the pin. So what we're gonna do, all you'll need get in is these little small bungees you can usually pick them up at any hardware store you can get a bundle of them at Walmart for around five or six bucks and all you do is you're just basically 
strapping this to the frame of your bike. And something I learned the other day, if you're going over a brake cable or something like that, try to go over it where, you, where it's encasing, because if you pinch the cable, it, it hinders your brakes. And in the back, the only thing you're doing is really simple, just going over it. And that's it, guys. It is not in the way of pedaling. Oh, that's a rod tube. We'll get to that in a minute. But it's not, you're not hindering your steering. It's not sticking out anywhere. Uh, you're not going to rub your leg against it. So, that's your two rods strapped. Now, your reels, they go in your backpack. And far as a uh, sand spike, that goes on this back rack. You just simply just slide it under the bungees and you're good to go. That's it. You're ready to go. Everything else is in the backpack. You're ready to ride. Uh, if you got any questions, guys, I'm telling you, I've tried this every kind of way imaginable. I've had them strapped my handlebars. Uh, I've had them sticking up in the air. They start catching trees, especially when I'm over in the state park. This is the absolute safest way to carry them. Uh, and you don't really need this rack in back just to carry the rod. You can strap it to the neck of your seat. will do the same purpose. I like the rack on the back so that I can put my uh, sand spikes in here to hold my surf rod. Now I'm only carrying one today because I only got one surf rod that I'll have bait on. The other one I'll be holding. Uh, and if I'm not holding it, I can set it down inside my backpack. We'll keep from falling in the sand. Guys, let's go fishing. Well guys, got down here, we got set up. I got one line in the water. Right here, got one in the water. I've got one I'm gonna set up and we'll start throwing lures. There's a big schools of fish coming through here. I say fish, big schools of Manhattan. Nothing bothering them though, so we'll see. I think it's gonna turn on about dark, but we're gonna get out here early. Ooh, it's hot. I have to get that water, do a little snorkeling, see if we can find the state found, and uh, hopefully, we'll have a hookup soon. Well, I'm thinking down there and I'll surf. I'm gonna swim up to my lure and see if anything's swimming around. I haven't had a bite. I haven't seen some blue crab. Wish I had a net, but I'm on my bike. Didn't bring the net. I've seen four nice size blue crab. I'm sure they're female. So we're gonna hook this GoPro up. Do a little snorkeling. Let's see what's out there. See some pinfish right there in the surf. That's about it. Let's go see what we can find.
tough swimming once you take your feet off the bottom. But we're gonna get out here. Surely there's gotta be some fish out here. I've seen one little whitey. half ounce egg sinker on a Carolina rig and I mean a small piece of fish bites. And I'm only fishing maybe 10 feet out in the surf. They're already hit. Smallest pompano ever. Looks not crazy or what? I think that broke the world record for smallest pompano. surf and I don't know if they'll actually go after my bait because the ones that I saw were buried down in the sand and then when you get close to them they come up so I guess they're laying their eggs. Well guys that's a wrap. Uh, didn't catch a whole lot today but it was fun getting out getting out on my bike uh, just being out on the beach. So guys don't forget use whatever means necessary to get out and get outdoors and have a good time with your kayaking, biking, fishing, hiking, it doesn't matter. Just get out and enjoy the outdoors, and we'll see you again on the water. Thanks for watching.